Welcome to Majestic Green Stadium. Some double A baseball coming at you. It's the Amarillo Sod Poodles taking on the Tulsa Drillers. All right, just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Dakota Chalmers. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on him. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. And there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. So two on with two away. Brandon Lewis digs in now. Come on, baby. Get your pitch. Right side. And the inning is over. End of one, and we're still scoreless. On to the third inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, number eight. The center fielder. Here's the 0-2. Number eight. In the air out to center, number 24. Under it, puts it away for the out. Batting eight, batting eight. So here's the cleanup hitter, number 24. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Hey, nice trip. Let's go. Man at first with one gone. Here's the third baseman, Brandon Lewis. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the grab, two down. Now a throw to first, and he won't get back in time. It's a double play. One out, base is empty. Number 24 now at the plate. Now back. Number 24. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one's carrying. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Man at second with one away. Now the third baseman, Brandon Lewis. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Good eye right there. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And he walked him. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. So now the DH spot, Drew Avins. Number 24 at second. Number 16 at first. One gone. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. So bases loaded with one away. Now the left fielder, Aldrich DeYoung. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off. His and a swing and a miss. That's the third out. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark, top of the sixth inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number five. Number five. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. One down. Now 
first and second two down and here is number 24 it's been number such a good hitter with runners in scoring position some guys just take it to another level for him right now at the plate it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed that's hard hit in the line should be extra bases runner around third into score another comes in to score and they lead by three gets the job done as he brings home a pair a well-deserved double on a great swing got everything going on time he stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask so two down now and here is brandon lewis for the fourth time tonight Popped up, puts the squeeze on it, and that is that. We go to the eighth. Here's the third baseman, John Carlos Cintron. Leading off the third the pitch. John Carlos. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Number 24 settles underneath it, hauls it in for the out. The batter. The designated hitter. Number six will hit next. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Number 24, under it. He makes the grab. Two down. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Number 24. Now back. Hey, drive him in. Number Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read. Left field, way back there. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. The relay to the plate, and he's out. I don't think he got a great read and or jump as he was trying to score from second on that one. Nice execution by the defense. Come up for Ow! They got him, and that will end the inning. This is just a nice win. Three-nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. Three-nothing, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Thrillers. Three runs on 18 hits. No errors. They left 18 runners on base. For the visitors, no runs. Six hits. No errors. They left.